What's up everybody, we are Diana and Phil and in this video German boyfriend is gonna try popular American snacks and candies. We did a similar video when we were in Germany. It was my first time and I got to try a whole bunch of Phil's childhood snacks and candies. We figured we'd just do the reverse while we're here in the US. Yes, I couldn't wait for it. You talked about American candy a lot. We tried a lot of German candy. Maybe you've seen the videos. We did three parts actually. And finally, it's time for me to try <laughs> the US counterpart and see if they're better or worse. All right, so this is Phil's first time in the US and we've seen a lot of different candies internationally, so we're gonna avoid the Snickers and Twix. You can get those all over the world, Asia, Europe, US. We are going to start with... Let's go. Three Musketeers. Positive mind, positive life. So true. <laughs> I it is a chocolate bar. Have you seen this one before? Uh, no, I have not. I heard about a musketeer bar. Is that this is this? Yeah, this, this is, is it, it. right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Just it go looks, for it. It looks exactly like a big Mars bar to me. What's a Mars bar? That's the famous Mars bar. And a Mars bar is soft chocolate inside with a layer of caramel, not oh. caramel. 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 Say all this. Is this the knockoff or another thing? I'm just gonna go for it, okay? Mmm, it is like a Mars bar. Is it really? Maybe this is the American name for Mars I wonder bar. if they renamed it for the uh, German or European audience. Although it's a little different, the caramel layer is missing. And off we had it. It's a black packaging. It says Mars on top. It might be like a Milky Way. Oh mm. yeah. That's and probably- More like a Milky Way? Might be like a Milky Way. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Now that I say it, I'm sorry. It's like a Milky Way, but a little darker. It tastes a little bit like Milky Way. It's a mixture between a Milky Way and a Mars bar. Interesting. It's, it's awesome. This is my stuff. As a kid, I never really liked it, but as an what? adult, I think it tastes good. It's awesome. That's a thing I would definitely buy. I'd rate that an 8, 8 out of 10. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's pretty high. Gone. It's gone. Next, Next one. What else do we got? Woo! <laughs> Now we're talking Slim Jim monster size. Because you gave me all those sausage wrapped things from Germany. It's a beefy. Beefy, beefy moose mit. Beefy moose mit. It looks like a beefy. So this is like a piece of smoked it's snack stick. Oh, there's beef and pork in there. And mechanically separated chicken. How do you open that? I don't know. You try Peel to do it yourself. Peel to open right here. It's the challenge with the fatty fingers. My new name, Fatty Fingers. Brauchst du Hilfe? Need you help? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, oh, bitte. Separate it. There we go. Whoop. Wow, look at that stick of meat. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Oh, it smells like meat. You're waving that oh, stick around. Yeah, you like that, right? Yeah. Waving that stick around, putting the meat in your face, smelling the sausage. All right. Holy cow! Oh my god, you bite into it and the fat, the fluid fat is still in there. Mmm, mmm. What on earth is that? It doesn't taste like meat, really. The consistency outside is like a beefy, but inside it's not. It's so- Ew! Oh my god, let's he see just... if I can do that for the camera. If you squeeze it like this, you see the, f the fluid coming up. Wow, ew. Orange, orange fattiness. <laughs> That's not that. That's not it's, normal. it's not that great. I just dip it here on a little paper towel. But why are they called Slim Jims? Is it to make you slimmer? Or is it because it's a skinny stick? Well, let me ask you this. Do Americans use gym to talk about a certain body part? A male body part? I don't know. And this is a Slim Jim? <laughs> if you know why this is called Slim Jim, let us know. If you like Slim Jims... Why? Heads off to you, <laughs> but why? <laughs> Alright, that was not good. That is a 3 of 10. Ooh. Mah. Mah. Uh, beefy over this at any time. I'm not really a huge fan of either of them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the one you see in every like Hollywood comedy movie. <clears throat> Twinkie! Twinkies! Have you had this before? Hostess Twinkies. 
Yeah. No, I don't think so. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen that? It's like in Zombie Land. <laughs> I, I heard about Twinkies. Like it rings a bell, but if somebody told, uh, would tell me, tell me what a Twinkie is, I couldn't. I feel um, like people always make this joke that Americans are just Twinkies and they eat Twinkies, and this is what we do in America. Is this the same thing? So, so this is the original. Hostess Twinkies, golden sponge cake with creamy filling, and then we have. And then I wanted to get the chocolate peanut butter Twinkies. Look, that's the line. Twinkies. There we go. I didn't know they were individually wrapped. Awesome for the environment. Yeah, okay. so it was. Try the originals first. There's two on a little plate. <laughs> a little beautiful. Tray. Why is it sticking to my tongue? It always sticks it's a little. It's a typical romance food. You can eat it like this. Okay. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, I don't like it. The, the cake part is a little, um, it tastes like this very cheap cake. What it, What it's is it? Sponge cake is what they call sponge it. Sponge cake, not that great. Just filled with like Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. In every elementary school, they always have these products, I feel like, at the concession stands and kids fill up on it. They're either in the vending machine or at the school store. Really? It's always like a Twinkie, I feel like, is in there, but I never like them. Unhealthy stuff? Yeah. I am trying the other one, the dark one here. I've never tried this, so let's see. Really? Hmm. I don't know why, but this is very different. It's denser. It's yeah. a denser thing. It's a heavier thing. It tastes better. The dough is better. That's what and I was going to say. There's no cream in there. The peanut butter taste is in the dough, like right? Like inside of it, it feels like. That's not bad at all. Oh, there actually is some cream in there. Oh, it might be a seven. Really? Wow. A six to a seven. That's like a two. Yeah, that, really? That's not good. I agree. I think that's like a one or a two. I wouldn't eat that unless it was the last thing I had to eat. I Finish like those it. later. <laughs> we you, each eat four You more. dropped a few. All right, next, next one. We have... So we're going for classic chocolate bars. Hershey's is one thing broken already. Look at that. I think I accidentally stepped on it. You stepped on it? What is it on the floor? Anyway, I hear that everywhere, so that might... This is one of the big brands, right? Yes. Fuck we have brand. the standard milk chocolate, the extra large version, 120 gram. That's not very extra large. Come on, America, you can do better. <laughs> and then we have Dove. I thought Dove, Dove is a cream, face cream brand. Like, like for we, the soaps and stuff. Yeah, right? Yeah. We have like Nivea and Dove. <laughs> Dove is the cheapest stuff. No, Not that stuff. cheap. Okay, we have salted caramel blonde chocolate. All right. This is 93 gram. They chip you off seven gram. A chocolate buy to be a hundred. We don't do grams. Get offended if we it's do not ounces. like to do it in Germany. Wow. Nicely labeled. Hershey's, 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 Hershey's. It's a nice unhealthy gray tone. <laughs> it's like a caramel piece. All right, should I try this first? Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Dang. I want to try it. I've never tried this before. Oh wow, I love the Dove one. Mm. What's it called again? Salted Caramel Blonde Chocolate. I didn't expect it to like it that much because I'm usually more of a standard milk chocolate guy, but that stuff's good. Well, they're good. That's good. They were only a dollar at Walmart too. <laughs> Is it that? I don't ever eat Hershey's. Mmm. There's something off with that. Do you know the feeling when you eat chocolate that's been lying around for a year or so? It's like at the very end of the expiration date. It just doesn't taste fresh. It's kind of like it's getting a little sandy in your mouth. Yeah, it has a chalky texture. Well, it expires chalk, chalky. Yeah, next year, 2020. I think this is fresh. It's a chalky. But it does have a chalky texture. Yeah, October 2020 in basically a year. I don't think it tastes old. I think it tastes chalky. And yeah. I think in comparison to the other chocolates we've had, it just doesn't rank very high. Probably like one of the worst, aside from some that I've had in Asia, it's probably one of the worst chocolates. Oh yeah, we had some in Asia that weren't good, but that's surprising to me. I thought Hershey's is such a household name. Mm, it's their other products I feel like that are better. What would you rank that? Both very big surprises to me. I expected this to be worse and I would rank this another eight. Really? Yeah, wow. that's, that's good, the Dove stuff. Yeah. And the Hershey's another surprise. This is a four. Yeah. It's not great. It's, it's better if you melt it with s'mores. Next one is a very popular one, I feel like. This is loved by a lot of people. Reese's! Reese's! Do you call it Reese's or Reese's? 
Reese's. Who calls it Reese's? So I saw that before. It's a cup, right? It's with peanut butter in there. Is that the only thing that Reese's makes? No, I think it's it's the Hershey's company. But is it Reese's? Reese's is the brand, right? It's not this one item. Or if you say, can I have a Reese's? Everybody knows I'm talking about these. Yeah, it's usually the peanut butter. They've made like Reese's Pieces and Reese's Fast Breakers now, but I think it's just the, this is the original. This is the OG. I don't know what language you're talking about. Fast Breakers. Fast Breakers. It's a different type of chocolate. Okay, there we go. It's in this little wrapper here. How am I supposed to eat that? There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. That's their catch line when I was a kid. Alrighty. It's sandy. <laughs> sandy again? Yeah. Surprising too. It was like glue in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I expected it to be amazing and it's not that amazing. It's better than the Hershey's chocolate though. This is a five. Really? Yeah. So Reese's are something that I used to love as a kid. They were like the thing that you would trade for Halloween. <clears throat> these are the candies you would try to get. My dad would steal these from my Halloween basket because he loved them so much. They're not as good as I remember, to yeah, be honest. They're, not they're just not very good. They feel sickening <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. That's a little disappointing. I'm a little sad. But it's these were my favorite childhood Yeah, candies. you American, you love the peanut butter, right? Yeah, oh my goodness. The chocolate. We have so, I mean, so many peanut butter products. All right, screw the Reese's. Oh, Get going. There must, be, there must be better stuff, right? That's sad. All right, so I figured <laughs> you might like potato chips. <laughs> Ooh, can't go wrong with potato chips. When we did the German video, we tried the paprika chips. Paprika, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I wanted you to try our classics. She already pronounces it the German way, paprika. Didn't I? Oh. <laughs> Lace, I see that everywhere. So popular. In Asia too, was it Vietnam? Yeah, think, oh, they have cool flavors in Asia, like seaweed and like crab spice. Oh, it's cool. I love potato chips. I think it's because it's potato based. It's like, I love everything potato based. <laughs> he but, loves potato. Um, I'm not eating them a lot. Whenever I open a bag, I cannot not finish it. It's the, the evil thing about potato chips. No. Mm. They're good. Pretty standard, nothing too special. I just like the ones that are flavored better, like oh, yeah? paprika, barbecue. They have so many. So many, and lately, um, if I buy some, I usually buy sour cream and onion. Oh, we have salt and vinegar too that a lot of people like. I never buy chips. So as a kid, I was never, ever allowed to have chips, but one of my best friends growing up always had chips at her house. So whenever we went to her house, we would always have chips. We all had those friends, didn't we? <laughs> they could have the junk food. Mm. Next item. So these items are not from the US. These. <laughs> oh. I think it's an Australian company and then the Kinder products are from Italy Ferrero. Kinder Joy. Yes. The good old Kinder Überraschungs Ei. Well, so the Kinder Surprise Egg was actually banned in the US, so apparently it's a separated chocolate to the toy. Well, I gotta tell you what's different. First <laughs> of all, this is a soft uh, packaging. It's not the hot egg. Yeah. So let's see what's inside. Got a little tab. <laughs> My fingers are already greasy and slippery and gross. What is that? Look at that. It's split in half, still packed on both sides. There's a little spoon on this side. This is very different. I think they came out with this in 2017 when I left the US. Little spoon here. Let's see what's in here. It's just a toy oh, where yeah. the spoon was on. So. Spider-Man! Yeah, you can build that. I want that. I'm gonna check what's in here. Where's the edible stuff? What? Oh, I think we had a oh. variation of that. Look at that. There's two balls, two chocolate balls in, a, in the white cream that is usual. Where's my spoon? This is very different. Oh, there's, wow, there's dark chocolate underneath. Ooh. Mm. Dude, the Kinder products, they just, they get it right. It's so good. So it tastes like there's just a layer of Nutella underneath. Then you have the white layer of that milk flavored chocolate thing. And then you have a little bit of a crunchy egg, which when you bite into it, tastes a little bit like a Ferrero Rocher. 
So that's interesting. This is good. It's a typical Kinder taste. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. I like the crunch with it. That's a little different than the ones we have. That's so good. It's funny that they uh, have like basically they market it as the same product, but, it's but it feels like because of legal reasons, this was made very differently. Yeah, it's very. It's That's what it feels like the when different you thing. open it. Yeah, yeah. You're right. All right. First of all, the Kinder Egg taste-wise, this is a nine. The eating is just a small part of it, and you get that toy and all that packaging. So overall, I would probably not buy that if I want to if I crave chocolate. It's really more of the surprise thing for the kids. Yeah, it's Did fun. You? He's in a cage. Spider-Man's in a cage. Look at he's hanging out. A Spider-Man in a cage. <laughs> okay, so this guy, Yoey. Surprise inside, Yoey Rumble. There we are, that's Yoey. So I think this is Australian. I was trying to get something to the Cadbury egg, which I know is like a British company, but that was something that we grew up with that's pretty familiar here. Choking has that, not for children zero to three. Mm. It looks funny, it looks like a- I wonder if there's a toy inside. Like a cheaper guy, like uh, was pretty expensive though. This was 250 or something, right? Oh, Look shoot. at that, it's more like the- That's like the Kinder. It's, it's more like the Kinder egg. Yeah. Because it's a chocolate shell and then you have the egg inside. Oh, it's like a full egg inside. This oh. is exactly like the Kinder egg. I hope I can show him a little bit. He's already broken. What is he supposed to be? A bear? A gnome? A gnome? <laughs> an ogre? The chocolate is not that great, so I don't think it can compare. It's like an Easter egg. Oh, got it. Oh, it's <gasps> awesome! Hammerhead shark! Woo. That's so cool! It's the coolest of all sharks. Ah. Oh my goodness, we can collect more sea animals! I want an otter! Do Those they have weird. manatees? I, I want these! <laughs> I were here to eat stuff. So the shark is kind of funny. It's nice, but I have to say the chocolate is not that great. It's more on the Hershey's level <laughs> than on the Kinder chocolate level. That's not worth it. He looked funny though. He's a cool yogi. Yeah, this yogi is really guy. cool for kids though. I feel like I could. they're targeting the chill child market. Next one! <laughs> Alright, we are going to do this one. Butterfinger! Butterfinger! The good old Butterfinger! I have them already, like chocolate finger, Always butter finger. buttery fingers. It's another thing like the musketeer bar. I heard before, butterfinger. Um, I haven't had it. It's already broken. Is that a thing here or did you just mistreat them all? I wasn't really careful. Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. Another peanut butter thing. Don't be another Reese's. Oh, it's super orange on the inside. <laughs> wow, this, the peanut butter smell immediately comes out of the box really? if you open it up. Here we go. Oh my god, hot! Mm. All my teeth are full of chewy caramel peanut butter yep. stuff right now. <laughs> this is one of these things where you have to dig with your finger every tooth. To dig it out, but you get a little chunk. Butterfingers alone are keeping the dental industry in the US. In I can business. totally see that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not bad. I can see the appeal. I'm not the biggest peanut butter with chocolate fan, which is weird because I like peanut butter. I like peanut butter on a sandwich and that stuff, but with the chocolate. I would give this a six. It's better than the Reese's cup. Now I'm stuck. Like I have half that bite is in my teeth right it's now. Just, yeah, my teeth are now flat because yeah, it's that, just that. filled with <laughs> this caramel peanut butter. All right, what else? I need are you ready for some fun? Yes, please. Okay, we've got fun. Fun dip. In a pouch. Two liquor sticks and three flavors. <sighs> liquor sticks. Cherry yum diddle dip. Res apple magic dip. Grape yum chis dip. Wow. This is, I have no idea what this is. Is this like the Ahoy browser? Like the powder we had in the oh, end? Oh, it's just fun. It sounds like it. Yeah, yeah just rip, it, rip a little bit. It doesn't say anywhere. And take your stick out. Okay. Lick a sticks. Lick a stick. You have to make sure all the powder's at the bottom. There's no line. Meh. Yeah, yeah, along the top. Meh. I guess you're licking, dipping. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> I'm going for the grape jump grape yumptious dip. Ooh. I can see the appeal for a kid. Dude, this is fun, right? For a kid. It's fun dip. Mm. Okay. Oh the cherry one is good. Wow. Deadly green. That's what this color is called. Ooh no, no, no. 
I don't want the apple. I like the cherry the best. I think you only just eat the green one so your tongue turns that color. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it fun? Yeah, it's fun. It's definitely fun. This is what, uh, I feel like childhood is this. If you got one of these, you're entertained for a solid 30 minutes of just dipping, licking, making your tongue a different color. Yeah, I think this is definitely for like elementary school children. If you get your first dollar, run through the kiosk. Yeah, or yeah, like right? 20. Something. College, yeah. Oh. I would put a shot of vodka in there and then drink it. You would? <laughs> in college. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Huh. You just ate your stick, you're not done though. I wanna see what the chick the chick tastes like, the stick tastes like. It's just sugar. Oh my god, you're old you have to be careful, you can break a tooth on that. I would rate this a seven for the idea and the fun part, but the actual eating tasting stuff, no. It's a five, like it tastes okay, I would eat it. Um, the cherry one is the best. I agree, it's not really that great, but it's fun. That's why it's a fun dip. Last one. Skittles, the original. Ooh. That's original. I think they're pretty common in Germany. We have them. I have not had them in forever. I can't even remember what's in there. If it's chocolate filled or jelly filled. I'm just gonna go for it. The it's... rainbow is inside of it. Ah, uh, yeah. There's taste something the like that. Oh, yeah, taste the rainbow. <laughs> I think we had that on advertising. So those are common here? Yes, very common. Popular, looks like Smarties. Walmart only had these movie theater packs. <laughs> Do you have Smarties? Yeah, we have Smarties. It looks like Smarties. My fingers are so freaking... That can't be good with That's why tea. you get braces, so you can yeah. open things. I a red one. Oh! I remember now. What is it though? It's like a gummy. Gummy bear with a hard outside. I don't know. But like a softer than a gummy. Yeah. It's Skittles. They're their own thing. It's good. Really? I'm surprised. I thought you might have not liked this one. Dude, I can snack on that. This is almost in every vending machine because I think mm. it holds really well against weather and temperatures. Oh, that's true. And you might have some that are like 10 years old and they still taste the same. I give them a six and a half. I could eat it, not that great. It's a movie theater snack. Yeah, totally. This is movie theater. You just munch on it. You have a little bit of popcorn, yeah. a little bit of sugar. Yeah, but then again, I think they're pretty common. If these are common around the world, do you like Skittles? Do you think they're delicious or do you hate them? I think they're so unique. There's nothing to describe it. You can't compare it to another candy unless you've had a Skittles, I feel like. So we have a ton of candy and we figured we'd have to break this up into two parts because we have so many. Anyway, we have 10 to 15 more items, right? Yes. And we're gonna do that in the second part of this video, which will come out Wednesday. Yes, so thumbs up for awesome candy. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Let us know what's your favorite. Bye. Bye.